Hi everybody, it's Bridget. Um, I am making this video today to share my Secret Squirrel Sisterhood Society um, cigar box swap for the month of January. And, um, well, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to tell you who my partner is <laughs> just yet. Um, but the theme was Winter Romance with pinks and blues, like teal color and silver. The challenge was to make a calendar, which um, was lovingly provided if we wanted to by Tanya, who is Psycho Moms. She has a free downloadable calendar on her blog, so um, a lot of us did use it. Um, but let me share with you what I made for her. Uh, this is the calendar. And I just printed it out on regular copy paper and distressed it. Um, I think Tiffany, who is TR West KD, gave me the idea to use Brad's here to hold it together. Um, and you can either just rip it off or take the Brad's out, although, no, you can't because I glued it. So. Anyway, um, what I did was I used an oldie but a goodie uh, for this project, which was the luxury stack on the box and the calendar. So um, I just added Prima Bling uh, Recollections um, Bling down here that had the flower and the lace. I don't know if you can tell, but I did spray it with marshmallow. Um, more Prima. This is, I think this is Prima Trim with the, um, the leaves, which came out, I think, with the um, paper packs of this past season, for, like Romantique and all those. And then what I did was I made like a little spray out of my wedding garland that I cut apart, some I Am Roses, um, semi-open rosebuds, twisted them together, and then covered the green and the wire with, I think this is Prima Trim. I don't know, I've had it for a really long time. So what I did was um, I used my Grand Nest Abilities, the book pages. And uh, so what I did was I cut it out short of the top so that I could make it look like this. And then I measured this here and I just kind of cut and scored a piece of paper there, kind of freehand, so. Um, but that's it, here's the calendar. Uh, very simple, you know, you could put a picture in here or frame, you know, this is another piece of the book pages. Um, and you know, once this is done, you could actually use this on your desktop for something else. So that's the calendar. And this is the banner that I made her. These um, papers were from the GC, GCD Studios, uh, Bella Blue, oh, Ella Blue, I'm sorry. GCD Studios, I think it is. So, and the banners were from the... <clears throat> as if I need any more new banner punches or dies, uh, is from here. So this is the new Sizzix banners and keys set. So I cut everything out, the cameo, the actual banner double layered. And I used some Tim Holtz um, findings on the ends. And I also I tried several different lace and string options that I didn't like, so I used some jump rings in between and then layered everything with some uh, Prima Bling. Very simple. This is the, um, I think this is Paper Tray Ink lowercase alphabet. And then I added some jump, jump rings and some like bronzy colored pearls with the E being the middle, I added just the crystal. So that's the banner. 
Um, a lot of chatter went around, like if I were to make you a banner, you know, you have a lot of wall space and a lot of girls said no. So I made it just small and simple. Um, and then of course the cigar box. So I used, again, I used the Luxury Stack, which is just one of my all-time favorites. I'm pretty sure it's DCWV, and it has a lot of pearlized paper. I don't know if that you can see that, but it is um, damask, faded blue, silver, like pearlized. And um, yeah, that's the paper I used. This uh, is a uh, Mistable, I think it was a Ranger product or a Tim Holtz product, Mistables. It was like cameo frames. Um, I used turquoise blue glimmer mist and um, marshmallow glimmer mist on top to give it like a teal color, which one of the sisters said I could steal her idea. Um, because a lot of people were having a hard time really figuring out what teal was. So, um, anyway, I used some crystal flower here from Carla 001, some recollection flowers here, uh, the wedding garland again I used as a spray, some trim which I had just gotten at Joann's. This is Prima trim here. And this is Prima Trim down here. This all pretty much was from my stash, which I'm very proud of. I used a lot of it and enjoyed using it. So I took off the hardware and I put this little um, girl's papery button on it. So that's the sides. This is a bling birdcage from a Prima set that I had that came with like a butterfly, a bird, a bird cage, and I think a silhouette of a girl in that same set. This is a Martha Stewart frame with just the charm here. And again, some of these like crystal flowers. This is Prima, I Am Roses, and these little like crystals that, um, I wanna say that I got that in a rack, but I don't remember from who, so I'm sorry, girls. But anyway, um, then the inside is, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, this is the inside. These are some uh, Prima resin pieces, MFT fence dye, some Prima uh, leaves, and again, the semi-open rosebuds from uh, I Am Roses. And again, this paper is another piece of paper from the stack. You can see how it's pearlized and it's, uh, it's just gorgeous. This is a Webster's Pages cameo with another Martha Stewart frame. And that's pretty simple actually. I kept it really simple and then what I did here was I just framed it in um, Maya Road rose trim, added the same piece of paper as the top, and uh, that's it. The box is painted with pearl paint from Martha Stewart Crafts, which is, is great paint. Her paints are awesome. Um, and I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Yep, I hope she likes it. Thanks for watching, and... Um, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to ask. I'll always answer as soon as I possibly can. So um, everybody have a nice week, what's left of it, and I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.